hey beautiful people welcome back if you're a subscriber but if you're new hey boo go ahead and subscribe i think you'll like it here and i think that will vibe it's currently 6 11 in the morning and i decided why don't i vlog today for my mph bays because i have not done an mph vlog <sighs> since I was in school which was over a year ago but today my work is pretty interesting my job is having a lark insertion training which is long act long acting reversible contraception that's what it is so we're having a two-day training today's Thursday and then the next day is Friday and I'm gonna be there both days but today specifically I coordinated the influencer panel that we're doing with our influencers that worked on the project so it's gonna be interesting today I'm about to do some makeup in like 15 minutes real quick and then I need to head out because I'm stopping by Starbucks grabbing a little something something and then we're gonna head to the conference center okay I'm a little behind schedule but I just did a little this is what I call a conference beat like nothing too much but I still look like a little something mm, it smells so good and this is a cheaper fragrance so if y'all are into it let's go ahead and head out and go to Starbucks super it's super dark but I made it to Starbucks. we'll still get there on time I am behind schedule but lucky me I always plan in plenty time because traffic people in Houston can't drive I say this all the time but it's true oh let me get my money I was just gonna pull up to the window all vibes no money thank you can I have a straw please yeah, yeah. is it for that one or the other one uh boat thank you at restaurants so many people just assume you don't want the receipt because he didn't give me my receipt and you know how it used to be a thing where if you did that um they would have to give you your stuff for free because they're supposed to give you a receipt i'm gonna start bringing that back because how you know i don't want my receipt this is what i was getting my premier protein and i'm about to pop it in this drink and sip this as i drive so y'all heard this is the brown sugar shaking espresso low calorie and then you pair it with your protein period oh all right i'll talk to y'all when i get there been talking I've just been showing y'all stuff the training is going well and then we have our impact report that we handed out but I just want to show y'all a quick glimpse of it cuz it's super cute like that's the thing I love about our campaign is that it's fun it's cute it's for women so it's not like super clinical and dreary and drab but let me show you all the impact report the impact report is just showing all of the women that we've helped and put in the statistics in a very creative, amazing way. So 
so these are just like Texas statistics Houston statistics and then some of the challenges and barriers the goal of the project but you see how cute this is this is some of the team they took these pictures before I got here so I'm not in any of the pictures that's okay and then like the starting of the campaign what it set out to do like it's just amazing y'all see this the timeline of what has happened so far and even though I just got here last year was here in in 2019 so phase two because that's when I started school and I used to go to events for the campaign all the time and then finally the impact this is from social media from the website just amazing they're doing the insertions y'all saw a little bit of that but it's gonna be pretty chill I'll start back recording once the influencers get here because we're doing the influencer panel and that's what I helped kind of put together very oily but in pH base are y'all feeling it are y'all liking this I never do this so here's to something new cheers and it always came off as judgy or preachy for many people and we wanted to do something different we wanted to do something that felt like talking about birth control talking about reproductive health was just a part of normal life <laughs> was just something that should be expected and if you had questions that's okay if you didn't have questions that's okay too but how do we have these conversations and make it be normal and take away the shame and if you can kind of see from just the colors of the campaign, actually be fun and exciting. <laughs> and we sought out and recruited local influencers that could help us carry that message that we could learn from to understand how they view this topic. Being a woman, just period, we, we need to know our rights, our accessibility, our options, and just it got me really excited because it's like, hey, now I'm feeling comfortable talking about issues or topics that may be private to others or myself. And hey, like Catherine said, it's, it shouldn't be taboo. This is something we should be comfortable with talking about. And it's just awesome to be able to talk about that on my social media platforms and give women that feel the same way that voice. Because as women, we're told we are brought here to reproduce and to have kids and to take care of a family. And that's the great thing about this um, campaign on every piece is that it's your choice and that's a big thing that we really try to say over and over again throughout the campaign is that we're just here to give you the information we are not pushing anything we want to give the information to women have the resources available so women can make that choice for themselves and that's a really big thing right now that we need to advocate for but it was important for me to have a, a woman doctor um, that was also a person of color so I don't think I've ever had a Native American doctor which kind of sucks because I would like to um, being a Native woman but um, I still gravitate towards women of color doctors um, because it's just more relatable. Because we wanted to get into historical trauma. We know in the 70s and 80s, there were forced sterilizations that were happening among Hispanic and black women in Texas and California and a lot of areas in the South that were happening in our public health institutions. And so a lot of the women that we are seeing are living with stories that they've heard, that their moms went through, that their grandmas went through, that their aunts experienced. Even the rollout of contraception in the 80s and early 90s with Norplant, right? And the impact and issues um, and infertility that some of those methods cause. And so some of their hesitance, some of the stigma, some of the avoidance, is in part to some of the historical trauma. And so that's important for us to understand. Hey, MPH Bays. So I forgot to record anything else because things just got busy. But as you can see, my work is about reproductive health. So everything that is going on in the world, and I won't even name it, is just unimaginable. So continue to support women and share resources. If you have any amazing resources that you'd like to shout out, please put them in the comments and I will put mine as well and tag it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed and I'll see you in the next.
Go get that degree, go girl, focus on me. I like my 